new here, please click that red subscribe button down below and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And now if you don't already know, I post planning videos on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. That's three times a week. And I post a variety of videos so you guys are sure to find something you love on my channel. Now today's video is actually going to be a super fun, awesome video. I had so much fun doing it. Now don't get discouraged if you guys don't have Photoshop or if you guys don't have any like computer skills. It's okay because you guys could also do this whole board game by hand. So today's video is actually a DIY Monopoly or Lovopoly board game. I keep mine in this little baggie because it's nice and convenient and everything and you can just fold it up and play it wherever you want. And here is my super awesome board game. It's a Monopoly but Lovopoly because it's me and my boyfriend and no we're not naked here. This is a picture from the beach just in case you guys are wondering. And yeah, it's super cute. So I customize it to our like preferences of places we like to go to, places we want to go to, and things like that. So I think it's super adorable. Now, if you guys want to make this by hand, all you're going to need is six pieces of cardstock. I will tell you guys right now the size of each of these boxes so you guys know and you guys can measure it out. The corner boxes are going to be two and a half inches wide. Yeah, you can make it two and a half all around. And then all the other boxes are gonna be one and a half wide by two and a half tall. Two and a half this way, one and a half this way, and then these are two and a half each of those. So if you guys wanna make those yourself, if you guys wanna make it by hand, you guys could definitely do that. I just thought I would tell you guys like the measurements so you guys aren't like, uh, how do I do this by hand? So I actually did this on Photoshop. I will link the template down below. It was a little complicated to figure out at first, but once I got it, it was all fine and good and dandy. So I will link the template that I used down below. For the money, I will also link those printables down below. Now for the life surprises, since I changed that from community chest to life surprises. I changed this one from chance to get lucky. Those I made myself on Microsoft Word. I also show you guys in the video like what I had typed out so if you guys need ideas you guys can check it out. But I love how the board game came out and I cannot wait to play this. This is also a great Valentine's Day gift idea if you guys want to make it for your loved one, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your husband, your wife anyone just make it for somebody it's so cute it only took me about a couple of hours to make so it was totally worth it and there's just a lot of cutting involved now that i mentioned everything to you guys let's just get into this video before this whole intro gets way too long to start off i use a template i found online and created my own board game so i put in all of my own pieces I saved it as a JPEG and the only way for me to get it to print on multiple pages was to then drag and drop it into iPhoto and then open it in Excel. If you have Adobe Reader, Adobe Reader or whatever it's called, then it should work on that as well but I don't have that program so I had to figure out another way. Now I'm just going to click on page layout in Excel so I could see how many pages this is actually going to print on. So it defaulted to like a million pages, it was like 12 pages but I only want my board to be six pages. So I played around and resized it until I had the amount that I wanted. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just print all of those pages and I'm printing on cardstock here. This is 65 pound cardstock that I'm using and I just like it cause it's nice and thicker. And my Lavopoly game will definitely last longer this way. This DIY Lavopoly game requires a lot of cutting so now I'm gonna cut out the board game. It's just printed on the cardstock as of right now, but I'm going to cut off all the unnecessary pieces. Once I have all my pieces cut out, I'm going to turn on my laminator and have it heat up. I will link everything down below if you guys are interested in purchasing it, and I also am using thermal laminating pouches. And I'm laminating every single piece of my board game, and this is just further going to ensure that my game lasts a super long time. And I'm also cutting out some of my property cards and laminating those as well so they last longer. The board game itself and the property cards I edited in Photoshop, but if you guys wanted to, you could actually do this whole game by hand. Just follow like a board or try to find online the measurements of each box and just draw out your own game on some cardstock. So now I have all of my property cards cut out and they are laminated and everything. Now the laminated board game pieces, I'm just cutting off the lamination because I don't need all that excess laminated stuff. Then I'm going to organize it kind of like a puzzle piece and see where each piece goes. And then the taping part. The taping part was actually the hardest because I'm a perfectionist and I couldn't just get them to match how I wanted them to. So 
laminating my board game came in very handy because I was able to unstick it from the tape and then just stick it back on and none of the pages would rip. And this is also a nice foldable game as well so everything will fold together once it's all done. And here's what it looks like finished. Here I'm just going to show you some places I wrote in my board game. So I changed go to home. I used cruise ships instead of trains. I changed it to get lucky instead of chance. I did traffic instead of jail. I changed it to Netflix and then I changed life surprises instead of community chest and then free parking is now free kisses. I also have some places on here that my boyfriend and I like to go to or that we would like to go to. I also have Amazon Prime membership on there and the roadblock for the traffic. And I just changed up a whole bunch of places and as you guys can see there's date night on there and the Maldives which is a place I really 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 want to go to one day I'll get there. I made my Get Lucky cards and my Life Surprises cards using Microsoft Word and I just, you know, I used like a table format so you create a table and then I just like found some images online, put them in there and just edited everything how I wanted it to go. I'm going to print one page at a time so once my first page is printed I'm going to put it back in the printer face up and going into the printer so then I'm going to print the second page which is going to be the back of it and then you guys will see how it turns out so it's going to be like a front and back card. And here's what it looks like, it's double sided. And then you're going to do the same thing with your life surprises cards. If you guys need any ideas for these, just pause the video and you guys will see exactly what I wrote for each card. And the same thing for these, once they were printed, I put them back in the printer face up and going in like towards the printer and they are nice and double sided. Like I said, a lot of cutting guys, a lot of trimming, so now I'm just cutting out all of my life surprises and my get lucky cards. I didn't laminate these just in case I want to change them out in the future and also because if I laminated them I feel like they'd just be sliding off of each other when I'm playing the game so I didn't laminate those. Now for the Monopoly money I actually found it printable online so I will link it down below in the description box and you guys can print yours as well. I ended up printing four of each page but you're actually going to need a lot more if you're actually just going to play the game which I'm probably just going to use my Monopoly money from my other game but I still wanted to show you guys how I went about doing this. And now your favorite part, you're just going to cut out all of your money as well. Once that is all finished, your Monopoly game is all done. You got your money, you got your cards, you got your property cards, and you got your whole board game. Now for the pieces, you could probably just order them online or you can just take them from another Monopoly game that you have. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to make this DIY Loveopoly board game. But guys, just tell me, isn't this just so cute? I have it laminated, so that's why everything, all the light is bouncing off of it. I thought I would laminate it and, you know, keep it forever. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please tag me on Instagram if you guys end up making this. I'm at Carolina's Crafts on Instagram. I would love, love, love to see your creation, so please tag me if you guys do it. Send it to me somehow. Email it to me if you have to. I would love to see your creations and how creative you guys get with Loveopoly. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Watching, and please subscribe down below if you haven't done so already and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!